What's going on guys? Hey, welcome to the weekly vlog, the Martini Project. So this week we're just going to do a kind of a short and sweet, down and dirty, what happened over the last week kind of situation. So we had a lot of stuff happening, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so this was a very busy week for us. Um, obviously I'm up right now, we're heading to the gym, I just dropped my daughter off. Uh, we had all kinds of stuff going on over the last week. We had uh, the baby shower for Mason, which was fantastic. Uh, thank you to everybody that participated and showed up. Uh, one of my wife's friends, she really went over the top with uh, hosting it for us, so thank you. Um, so we got that done and we got some yard work done and we went through some of our storage stuff we've got a bunch of stuff for sale on facebook and craigslist and just old crap that we've held on to for a long time you should always consider that so if you've got storage or a garage with a bunch of stuff in it uh really you should kind of question why is it there are you ever going to use it if you are going to use it what is the purpose and if you can sell it and make a little bit of money, then you may want to consider that because space is king. And for us anyways, we're limited on space. Um, so we did that. I got a bunch of stuff for sale. It's not moving as good as I wanted it to, but it is, uh, it is for sale. Uh, and we've actually got even more crap we're going to sell. It's just piling up in one of our storage sheds. So we'll get rid of hopefully some stuff. And uh, what, what else did we got? We got the yard work done. We got some storage stuff, kind of some spring cleaning done. We also started reworking the garage. I got rid of a bunch of stuff in there. Actually, we took a couple of truckloads to donations. Um, Salvation Army, Brother Francis, uh, those guys. And then we also uh, took some crap to the dump, just various uh, old drop cloths and some pallets and stuff like that. So got rid of quite a bit of stuff, which is exciting because we started redoing the garage and now it's not major, but I wanted to finish some painting in the garage and I wanted to start utilizing some of the space in there more as I'm shooting more video and we need to start making room for our new kid. So that's also exciting stuff, and I'm glad that we got some of that done. We'll actually wrap today's shot, so when we wrap up this video today, I'm gonna kind of bring you into where we are. It's still kind of a mess because uh, the couch is still in there. I gotta shampoo that. We had to get a new couch because our dog decided to eat it, eat one of the cushions, so I'm gonna shampoo it, clean it up really nice, um, and then patch one of the holes in it. More than likely, we're gonna get rid of it, but who knows. Um, and uh, we'll hopefully get that wrapped up over the next few weeks. The goal with the garage is A, to still have the functionality of a garage. So that's something that a lot of people kind of throw out the window right when they get it. They turn it into a game room, turn it into an office, a bedroom, something like that. We use the garage. I service all of our vehicles, um, which saves a lot of money. That's something that you may want to consider if you're looking at the possibilities of saving money. You know, if you get just a, some simple tool sets and you have a family or you don't have a family, you want to just, you know, start considering doing your own tune-ups and some of your minor repairs on your vehicle. I mean, you're talking thousands of dollars over the lifetime of your vehicles that you can save. So we still do that though. So that's something that you should probably consider if you're not doing it already. Um, but it's also versus space. So obviously if you need the space for something else, but my point is, I want to still have the versatility to work on vehicles, to work on the motorcycles, work on whatever I want while still using the space. So I'm not going to put couches and a pool table in there because it's not a rec room. 
So as much as I'd like to, I, I just can't do it because I'm constantly doing projects. You know, if you've got a family, you got a house, more than likely if you're very active, you're also doing the same thing. So for you to turn it into a room or a office or whatever, doesn't work. So, all right, well, we're almost to the gym now. So let's go hit the gym and uh, we'll pick this back up. So let's get going. guys so we just wrapped up the gym today we went a little bit light just because of the sinus deal did a lot of cardio we did that for about 45 minutes uh, we did a little bit of back uh, some, a little bit of shoulders today we didn't go too crazy just because my uh, my sinuses and whatnot are killing me so uh, it went well though I'm glad to be able to keep going to the gym and being more consistent I am cutting weight so uh, Let's go to the garage and I'll show you kind of the update there and we'll wrap this week's vlog up, so let's go. guys so we're back in the garage as you can see we got a couch in here now this isn't gonna be here for very long we're actually gonna clean it up and get rid of it like I was saying earlier so we did some quite a bit of yard work I tell you that but it looks like crap right now outside still grayish not looking so good but we did work on the garage as you can see right there well you can probably barely see it I moved those shelves that were right over there to up there uh, so I can get more room. So let me kind of give you the two cent tour here. So what we're looking at, I did some more painting. I did the lines and then I actually repainted the top portion or started repainting the top portion. So what we did was we moved this stuff over. I still have these signs. I got those a few years ago. That's just kind of sitting there. Um, we stacked all the toolboxes next to each other. I got to go through them. I got a lot of crap in those two. But ultimately, we took a desk that we had upstairs. We've owned that for a while, too. The dog decided to chew on the edge of that. So now he's staying in a kennel, which is this guy right here. This little guy. Um, but we did put up these shelves right here. And we're gonna hopefully start getting a little bit more organized. As you can see, it's kind of in a little bit of a mess in the garage at the moment. We've got over on this side quite a bit of stuff kind of hanging out everywhere. So over the next few weeks, we're gonna hopefully get it all cleaned up, get rid of a lot of the trash and a lot of the extra stuff that's kind of lingering. Um, we'll hopefully also get a little bit more organized with some of the video stuff, as you can see. Here's the table I put some laminate on because it was destroyed from one of my kids, which was all right. They used it for uh, finger painting. Um, and the top was coming off. It was a cheap desk off of Amazon, so not a huge deal. So this is what the garage looks like now. Again, we started cleaning up that side. We're slowly making our way this way. Kind of keep going here. Uh, that's actually trash up there. Move some shelves up to the top. And we're gonna just keep going, so it's not really a, a DIY clean your garage vlog. I just wanted to give you guys an update. That's what we've been working on over the last week. Like I said earlier, we got rid of a lot of junk. We're gonna continue to get rid of even more junk. So I just thought, why not kind of do a catch up on what we're doing and what we've uh, been up to. So thanks for uh, checking it out today on the vlog. Next week, I think we're going to go shooting again, so stay tuned for that, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. So thanks for checking out the Martini Project. Don't forget, 
We do have our Facebook page, which is just uh, facebook.com backslash the martini project. So make sure swing by there. Uh, check it out. We post all of our videos to it. So if you're more prone to use Facebook, just uh, like the page and then you'll get and follow us there and you'll get all of these videos uh, via there. We also put uh, photos and other things up. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.